What's up, guys? Today we want to talk to you about hose clamp pinch off pliers. So, uh, or hose pinch off pliers, or just pinch off pliers, whatever you feel like calling them. Today I want to show you guys a little something we figured out. So stick around and watch this. There's so man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard Mississippi. Alright guys, as you see we have two pair of hose, we call them hose pinch off pliers. I don't know what the real name of them are or if they're just known as pinch off pliers. But anyway, Monday on the Cornwell truck, we was talking to Mr. Joe, and we, um, actually me and Bill both got a set identical to this one, which is kind of identical to this one, and we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, we had a deal where we was talking to Mr. Joe about these are not pinching off the plastic iron lines as well, and even on some of the liquid lines, they're still letting a little bit seep through. So Mr. Joe says, what kind you got? And, uh... We told him we had blue points, so he said, oh, you need to buy the Cornwell set. They're much better. They're the best hose pinch off pliers on the market. So, Bill says, give me a pair. So he hands him a pair of them. And we come back in the shop, we go to try them, and guess what? They do the exact same thing. So like I say, here is the two pliers that we have. We've actually got three sets between us, but anyway, this set blue point. This set is cornwells. The purpose of this video as you can see, the writing on the Cornwell set. Now let's look at the blue point set. Boy, them sure do look similar, don't they? But Mr. Joe swore up down that the Cornwell was the best ones that they make. They look identical to the blue point, but I have to confess, the Cornwell was about half price of what the blue point set cost. But anyway, we're back in the same boat as we was before. We're having issues with pinching off the plastic airlines, like when we do an airbag job or um, leveling bios or whatever. So we've had trouble with them. So I went to Sears and uh, I found kind of a different style, different design. As you can see, they're craftsmen and they're made in Taiwan. But let me show you what they got going for. They don't lock down to zero, I guess you'd say. It's still a little bit of room, but they work good on the airlines. And the little ratcheting mechanism works extremely good. Now, I picked these up at Sears for like 25 bucks. So, i let you hear it again. So there you have it. Three different name brands, two of them's identical, which we all know that trucks, uh, tool trucks rebrand tools. But this was supposed to be the best set ever made, which is identical to this set, which pretty much sucks for plastic airlines. And believe it or not, the old craftsman outdoes both of them. So anyway, guys, that's my video today. Kind of talking about 
the rebranding of um, tool truck brands between the Cornwell and the old Blue Points. And, um, you know, I guess the salesman of the trucks convincing us that the Cornwell is the better of the choice when in all actuality, exact same thing. And the one that beat them all, beat them all out was the Craftsman. So, anyway, guys, if you got a better idea on some hose clamp pliers, hose paint off pliers, whatever you call them, let us know down in the comments below because we've been using uh, needle nose vice grips on the uh, plastic airlines and they work great, but of course it does damage the airlines to a little bit of extent. So, we're looking for something a little better. And obviously, these two, they're no bueno. They're not going to cut it. And this one's pretty decent, but it just don't pinch off as hard as we'd like to. So maybe just have to flip the line over and kick it off. Anyway, that's my video today, guys. Leave your comments below and let us know what the best pinch off pliers is on the market. But anyway, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe down here below, and we will catch you guys next time. Y'all have a great one.